Hey, it's Dr. Dunaway with Cairo Strength talking today about deep neck flexors in the context of shoulder rehab and shoulder injury prevention. Um, if you haven't caught the other videos, this is a three part series. Uh, and to learn how to put it all together, you can follow the link to the blog in the section below. Uh, but the deep neck flexor is a pretty easy concept, but often neglected. And the idea is as we sit in a slumped or, or lazy posture throughout the day, we kind of get this anterior head carriage. And this anterior head will really decondition these muscles underneath the chin. So it's kind of like a chin sit up. What I do is I, I tell people to drive their chin through the Adam's apple, kind of giving themselves a double chin, and you have these little chin crunches. Now you should feel that right underneath the chin like this. If you don't feel it, shove the tongue to the roof of your mouth, and then you'll feel it. Now if you don't have any pain with that, what I want you to do is instead of doing a sit up with the chin, I want you to do a plank with the chin. So I'm gonna hold my hand underneath my head, put a little pressure with my head into my hand, and then I'm gonna slide my hand out so my head is about half an inch to an inch off the table. So chin retraction, tongue to the roof of the mouth, and then slide out, trying to hold this position without shaking. Now I can even feel my hair on the table right here, and as I focus on my breathing, if I'm not used to this position, I'll kind of start to feel this shake. And if you start to feel that shake, that's just the body not being able to tap into the deep neck flexors for stability. So they're kind of trying to have all these muscles around the neck contract um, in an uncoordinated fashion, and it kind of presents itself like this shaking. So if you feel yourself shaking, stop, reset, do another rep, and try to accumulate one minute worth of these good, solid isometric holds. Um, the key or the goal is to be able to hit one minute of a good solid hold, strengthen these deep neck flexors so when you're sitting or you're walking or you're moving around, that neck will sit more over top of the shoulders instead of in the front of the shoulders and keep these shoulders from rolling forward, which if we don't address that, you'll never have full resolution of any shoulder injury or shoulder prevention. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. You can always email me at drdunaway at chirostrength.com. And like I always say, don't just mend, transcend. Thanks.